Hey guys, I um, haven't been shooting any video because I've basically been doing the same thing and you guys have seen it over and over. I've been going from Reno to Vegas up here to Flagstaff and back. But um, I just wanted to share this with you. I'm laughing about it now. I come up here to the plant in Flagstaff wait in line for a half hour or so to get checked in at the guard shack. Went and dropped my empty trailer. Went back to the shipping office, waited another half hour. He gave me my paperwork. I went and found the trailer number attached to the paperwork. Hooked up to it, went out to the guard shack. He broke the seal, because he has another seal he has to put on. Lord and behold, the trailer was empty. So, I had to go back to the shipping office. And let them know, because the guard shack called them up. They had to find what trailer my product was on. It took about 15 or 20 minutes. Man, what a fiasco. I'm laughing about it now, but earlier I was pretty pissed off. So, everything's good now. I would like to share... Um, something about um, being the captain of your ship. I saw a video that was made about six years ago of, of this driver who had taken a 10 hour break after he delivered, took it at night time, and the next morning his dispatcher called him up and said, we need you to take this empty trailer to the shipper, drop it, take another 10-hour break, pick it up tonight, and drive throughout the night. And he had told the dispatcher, there's no way. Uh, it's not safe to do that. I've already slept. Well, it was basically a forced dispatch. Something I will never fall for. So he took the load. And he got very, very tired. Because he hadn't slept all day. He called up dispatch. And they said, well, you have to figure something out. This load is due in the morning at 6 o'clock. And he said, look, I cannot drive anymore. I'm having micro-sleeps. Micro-sleeps are really, really, really dangerous. And he talked to three dispatchers within a matter of about five minutes. And each one of them said, well, just get out. Run around your truck, do some jump, jumping jacks, have some coffee, so on and so forth. He said, look, I'm not taking this load any further. And then the one dispatcher told him, well, you're going to get a service failure and not have a paycheck next week. Yeah, that doesn't work. You'll still get paid. But I think this driver did the right thing. There's nobody on God's green earth that is going to be in charge of your truck other than you. Bottom line. And this company got investigated by DOT 
those four dispatchers got fired. Hopefully they never got another job in the trucking industry again. Well, that's just a word of warning to you people just getting into truck driving. Don't ever let anyone talk you into doing something you don't feel safe doing. You are the captain of your ship. Bottom line. Well, it's nice for me since I've been driving for all these years. I can actually pretty much adjust on the fly between sleeping during the day and sleeping at night. I've done it many, many times in my career. But I don't expect people just getting into the business to do that. I don't suggest to do that. It's something that took me a long time to, um, to train my body to do.